Hi folks, I'm Craig Taylor and as always a huge thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel The Bushcraft Padawan and thank you for joining me in this week's Thursday's Thought. When it comes to sleeping outside, when it comes to getting my head down, I've always been a ground dweller. I have hammocked in the past, in fact the last time I hammocked was probably around 24 years ago, oh man I feel old, about 24 years ago in I think it was Kakamega or Kakamega tropical rainforest in Kenya in Africa. Um, it was probably about 10 nights hammocking, I'll never forget the first night we were there, the instructors that were teaching, taking us on, on a sort of a jungle course, um, didn't show us how to put hammocks up, they simply said figure it out yourselves, we'll be back tomorrow to show you the right way and it was unsurprisingly the most uncomfortable night's sleep you could possibly imagine, uh, particularly the fact that you didn't want to be on the floor because of all the wildlife that you were sharing the floor with, all the critters. So I've never gone back to hammocking, not because the other nine nights weren't enjoyable and useful, um, but I've just never gone back to hammocking because A, for the rest of the time that I was in the army, operationally, there was it was the wrong thing to be swinging from trees. That sounds weird. Um, and it was always better for from all sorts of reasons to be down on the deck sleeping. Since I've left the army, the reason I've never gone hammocking is there just seems to be so much fuss about it, so much, so much faff around it. Not only do you need your sleeping bag, potentially a bivy bag, but you've got the hammock itself, you've got carabiners, you've got whoopee slings, you've got under quilts, over quilts, wombling free. Um, you'll get that if you're a certain age and probably British. What else is there? There's, there's Dutch wear clips, there's just all sorts of gubbins that goes with it on top of what you're actually going to, to sleep in from a sleeping bag perspective and it's just always put me off that there seems to be so much kerfuffle and stuff associated with it. However, I am changing my tune a little bit. I've just recently bought, although it's not arrived yet, I've just recently bought a prototype parachute silk hammock that I found a guy making over on eBay. He looks like he's setting up a small cottage business and he's put together some prototypes as part of his testing and he was selling them relatively cheap. So I thought, you know what, in for a penny, in for a pound. So I've bought myself one. What I don't intend to do is to buy myself an underquilt, whoopee slings, Dutch wear clips, and all of the other stuff that seems to go with it. What I want to try and do is to get by with what I would take out with me anyway. The only exception to that is any time I might be damaging trees by putting cordage or straps around it, then I will look to improvise, but I'm certainly going to try and, and hammock with nothing more than I would normally take out with me, plus the hammock itself. So I'm going to give, I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to push myself outside of my uh, my comfort zone a little in terms of what I normally do, and do something a little different. And that's what this week's Thursday's thought is all about. That's what I'm doing, or that's what I plan to do in the near future, that is completely out of the norm for the way that I normally go about things for various different reasons. What about you? Have you got anything that you're planning to do that you've never done in the past, that you've been adamant you never wanted to do in the past, um, something that you've consciously in the past made a decision not to do and you're changing your mind about? Or have you recently done something that is um, out of the norm for the way that you normally go about, uh, you know, about being outdoors. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what it was or what it is and why perhaps you've changed your mind. Why have I changed my mind? Well, I'm getting on a bit now and the old back's aching. I'm up for about my, my sixth or seventh knee operation. So I figured it was time to see if, uh, if hammocking and swinging from the trees would bring some light relief to this old guy. Thanks for watching, I'll see you very shortly. Cheers.